Hello everyone, I'm Margaret and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on the flying stars feng shui energies present in all houses, condominium apartments and buildings for the month of October 2023, starting on October 8, 2023 to November 7 of 2023. Now, in classical feng shui and specifically in flying stars, the monthly energies are considered temporary energies. So if you find that you're sleeping or working in a room that does not have good energies this month, the simple solution is for you to move to another room or space that you can use and that does have the good energies. Now, this is just a short-term solution and it will help definitely if you're dealing with current health and financial issues. Here is the Flying Star Feng Shui chart for the month of October 2023. You will see here nine grids and in each of the nine grids you will find two numbers. The big numbers in the center indicates the annual star and the smaller number indicates the monthly star. Now you can use a reliable compass to determine your house facing and location and the different sectors. The October chart sees the magnifying star number nine flying into the center of the chart multiplying or magnifying the positive energy of the scholastic star number four. Now, this benefits those in the literary and uh, academic fields. The chart does he uh, lean heavily on the lucky side. Now, with the number nine joining the number four peach blossom star, it strengthens it and uh, it benefits uh, writers, students, and those in academics, and especially for those are preparing for examinations. You will find that this is a productive time for you. Um, romantic relationships are also expected to, to blossom in this month. Now, there are hotel combinations that are formed uh, in some of the sectors, and, the, and those uh, stars also brings uh, good success or luck to either those in business uh, and profits or intelligence. So add these uh, indications to the prevalence of the lucky sectors, and we do have a very positive chart uh, for this month. Now let us look at the energies of each of the nine sectors that is present in our home this month and how it affects anyone or, any, or everyone using the space and the overall well-being of the residents. Now let's start with the Southeast sector. The southeast has the 3-8 combination and uh, in, in, it uh, indicates wealth luck and uh, the southeast sees the number 8 combining with the number 3 to form the leadership hole 2. Now this means that it brings good command skills for those resigning in the sector and benefits those in the position of management or power. Um, anyone can activate this sector by just uh, using it and all to enjoy these auspicious energies. The number eight also brings great wealth and prosperity luck. So it can boost income and investment prospects. Uh, it can also improve the relationships and uh, you know, turbocharge success. So as this sector also has the energies of the number three quarrelsome star, those with, of you with bedrooms and main drawers should be a little bit more careful uh, when interacting with family members to avoid unnecessary understandings and arguments. Um, but thanks to the number eight wealth star, the energy of money luck is, uh, is enhanced and you will actually discover plenty of wealth making opportunities for those southeast facing homes. Uh, this is an excellent month to roll out new projects and to start new business plans, especially if you're are born the year of the snakes, the dragons, and the first daughter. Uh, again, with the number three, it is best to avoid gossiping or it could bring quarrels or arguments. And, uh, you know, it can also create tension between loved ones. So try to be more understanding and tolerant, especially uh, for those of you working and sleeping in this uh, Southeast sector. Now let's take a look at the next sector, which is the South sector. It has the 8-4 combination. The romance luck is indicated and uh, as well as networking luck. When the number 4 moves into the south, it brings with it uh, favorable energies for those of you looking for love. Uh, singles can also 
uh, have an increase in romantic encounters by using this sector. Those of you in a relationship can strengthen their bonds by using this space too. And there is also indication of powerful networking luck for those of you looking to advance your position at work and in business. Now combine this with the prosperity star number eight and you can have new connections uh, developing, uh, you know, leading to probably uh, increase in net worth, uh, income, happiness, also, or all three of them, okay? Now, single people occupying the sector, especially those born in the year of the horse, will find that their romance luck flourishes. Um, those living in the south-facing homes will also be affected by this energy. Um, they will find themselves becoming probably more attractive to the opposite sex or being, you know, become more popular. Those of you seriously looking for that special someone, should stop, should stop, uh, should stop, uh, stop, <laughs> should tap on this energy and use the south sector of your home more often this month. Now for those students uh, preparing for exams or studying in the, uh, in the south sector, you will be able to absorb your uh, studies more effectively, um, you know, use this area often to activate its auspicious energy. Now let's get on to the next sector, which is the Southwest sector, which has the combination 1-6, indicating heaven luck. And uh, it also um, has a whole two in place. The, the wealth luck from heaven is, you know, indicated for those of you residing or, you know, in the, uh, in the Southwest facing home or using this particular sector in your home this month money making opportunities are you know indicated for the sheep the monkeys and the matriarch and for those of you who spend your time here in the southwest sector you may also uh, enjoy a surprise uh, by having windfall luck and enhance opportunities in your life career and business luck is also indicated and uh, it is an excellent sector to activate as the combinations here can form the whole two that enhances intelligence and ingenuity. So activating the energies here can help you find solutions to uh, impossible problems and uh, increase your ability to think outside the box. So the incoming heaven star uh, also brings uh, divine assistance, uh, mentors and new opportunities and so take advantage of all these suspicious energies by using this sector more often this month, okay? Students and those of you looking to give your career boost can also benefit by using this sector to attract mentors and benefactors, okay? Let's get on to the next sector, which is the East, which has the 2-7 combination. Um, the 7th, uh, robbery star or violence star. Uh, you know, brings aggressive natures or energies that attracts uh, burglary, robbery, and accidents. It can also instigate disputes, quarrels, uh, and misunderstandings, especially with those born in the year of the rabbit or your, the eldest son. And those also with main doors and bedroom uh, in this particular sector, and those also living in an east-facing home, can actually be affected by these negative energies. So competition is also high in workplace if your office is facing east. But this is uh, not entirely bad because the two seven whole two combination brings good completion luck to your endeavors. So while the east has to uh, deal with the monthly loss star, it joins with the number two to form the big wealth whole two which means uh, it eases cash flow problems and improves wealth luck. So not all is that bad, okay? Windfalls are also possible. If your bedroom or main door is located in this sector, uh, take extra precaution and uh, to stay protected and uh, check all the windows and doors in this particular sector as well, okay? Now let's get on to the center of the home, which has the 49 combination indicating uh, education luck and good academic 
uh, luck as well. Uh, the magnifying star meets the annual four in the center, uh, boosting everyone's wisdom and ingenuity while also generating a great whole to energy that bring business luck or business uh, business success. So it's a good time to sign new deals properly or roll out some of your plans or new plans or make big changes in uh, in that direction. You can activate the number nine star for uh, growing and attracting wealth and prosperity luck. And uh, scholastic luck is also magnified here as well. And uh, academics or students will benefit from this energy. So the education luck can actually benefit or bless the students, the writers and academics in the household. Uh, productivity is indicated or will increase. Be careful though, the, the conflicting ele elements between the stars of four and nine may compromise your personal uh, safety. So there's also a danger of fire breaking out, okay? <clears throat> Now let's get on to the west sector, which has 6-2 combination. It indicates sickness star. The illness star visiting the west dampens the month for the residents of the west facing home. And for those of you in the west sector, uh, I mean, using the west sector as your bedrooms, uh, especially, um, you know, you might be vulnerable or afflicted by the monthly sickness star number two and uh, you know can get sick easily especially uh, with diseases of the lungs skin bones or nose nose or you could feel uh, more lethargic or you can you know fall sick easily and or take longer to recover from your illness um, you could also fall victim to spiritual distur disturbances so work can also seem to be a little bit more challenging and stress can build up so please don't take your health for granted now for elderly women or people who are you know for those of you who are pregnant uh, should be a little bit more careful with your health and uh, and also for elderly folks and for those uh, that are currently not 100 percent you know you have you know you're battling some sort of illness please Avoid this sector as much as possible and also avoid using this as your bedroom for this month, okay? Uh, you can also uh, mitigate some of the negative energy by keeping this sector dark and quiet if you can. Um, the luck of getting help from important people and mentors is still good. And those of you born in the year of the roosters, uh, the youngest daughter, and for those of you who sleep or work in this sector, you should be a little bit more careful this month. Now let's get on to the next sector, which the, is the Northeast sector, which has the seven and three combination. Uh, the number three argument star actually joins the number seven, and it does bring about uh, the sum of 10 or the completion luck, uh, the auspicious energies uh, of this uh, combination. This brings the kind of luck that allows you to finish whatever you start. It also predicts auspicious outcomes for things you are working on. So if you are fighting the clock on projects or trying to reach a deadline or have a dilemma to solve, you should actively use these energies or use the energies in this sector. So the energies here do, however, contain a certain conflict uh, with the chi which can negatively impact uh, your relationships and your future prospects. The clashing of these elements uh, indicate injuries and bloodshed, and therefore you have to be extra careful not to get into fights or when handling sharp and heavy objects. And for those of you in Northeast home or those who sleep, work, study uh, in this particular sector, it is best not to cause aggravation by instigating fights and quarrels. Now, for those of you uh, born in the year of the ox, tiger, and the youngest son, uh, be extra diligent. There's a possibility of being robbed or burglarized. And check any doors or windows in this particular sector. And for those of you with northeast facing homes, that, uh, that these doors and windows are secure. And if you do have an alarm system, make sure that it's working properly. 
let's get on to the next sector which is the north sector which has a nine five combination indicating bad luck or misfortune uh, so cures are really necessary here the monthly five uh, joins the expansion star in the north bringing lists of illness money loss misfortune conflicts uh, bad luck and obstacle so minimize the use of this particular sector this month keep it low key and quiet uh, suppress the misfortune energy by putting metal cures here now if your bedroom or main door is located north you should be extra careful when you're going out and about those of you who suffer poor health or at high risk for health afflictions uh, should temporarily use another room for this particular month now you know uh, poor health is actually indicated uh, for the rats or health luck is you know it's not that great for those of you born in the rats the middle sun and those living in the north facing home so occupying the sector to keep an eye on your health especially uh, your blood pressure and uh, should try to minimize stress make every effort to relax and take a break or even go for a short vacation now let's look at the northwest sector of your home or, or the chart uh, it has the 5-1 combination which uh, indicates victory luck so big improvements are uh, indicated for the patriarch uh, from last month uh, leaders and those of you who reside in this particular part of the home now those of you born in the year of the dog the boar or the pig and the patriarchs and residents living in the northwest facing homes will experience better luck in their work and financial matters this month the victory star flying in uh, to this sector brings career advancement and business success so it does enhance your analytical skills and sharpens your intuition you can harness these uh, winning energies by just using this sector this month so um, it, uh, so it's a lucky sector to spend time in but watch that it does not get excessively noisy or you can trigger the annual number five here and uh, it could accidentally activate it and that's a no-no so leave the annual metal cures in place as it enhanced the water element of the number one flying star as well so but be careful still as the element of the number one and uh, is in conflict with the number five which can result in mishaps, accidents, and even bodily injuries, right? So let's uh, do a summary of what's in store for the month of October and uh, what are the energies. Uh, the four sectors uh, that enjoy Hotu luck are the Southeast, Southwest, East, and Center. And uh, the Northeast actually brings completion luck the south enjoys romance luck and the northwest indicates victory luck but you should actually uh, be careful with the north and west sectors and uh, with the number nine moving into the center it does uh, affect everyone and uh, you know uh, the literary and the relationship luck is actually further enhanced so try to use the positive sectors more often uh, and uh, minimize the use of the neg negative sectors so uh, each hotu sector that we indicate here uh, in the different sectors bring a very special brand of luck uh, go back to those uh, particular sector if you didn't catch it so depending on the kind of luck that you're looking for you should take note of it to enhance the right hotu in the right location okay the northeast, south, and northwest are also lucky, so you can spend more time in these sectors and activate the auspicious energies here uh, with enhancers as well. The two sectors that uh, actually you have to be a little bit more careful of and that require, that require real strong remedies are actually the north and west, which feature the five yellow and the illness star uh, respectively. So avoid spending too much time here if you can and residents of homes facing these two, di uh, two, uh, two directions and those with bedrooms in these sectors should be more careful and uh, take uh, the necessary precautions and place the remedies as, uh, as indicated, okay? 
Now, please also remember, uh, just a quick reminder, that the three annual afflictions are also still in place where they're supposed to be this year. The West has the three killings. And it occupies 90 degrees of that uh, sector. Well, it's actually a big sector. And uh, when you're actually, uh, how do you call this, um, placing your desk, make sure that you confront or sit facing the three killings. And uh, do, not, uh, <clears throat> do not activate this uh, area with renovations or loud noises or digging. Now you also uh, know or... Uh, I have to remind you that the East too has the Grand Duke and it occupies 15 degrees and uh, do not uh, face the Grand Duke, sit with your back towards the Grand Duke so that you can actually uh, have his support and his help and likewise do not do any major renovation activity in this particular sector and you have the Year Breaker which is in the West too and occupies 15 degrees and likewise you treat this area just like the other two areas, no major renovation or activity in this particular sector as well. So that's the West too. Okay. Uh, now, if you really need to repair or fix affected areas, make sure that you start from the auspicious uh, sector. And for those of you asking if your uh, painting uh, room is okay, um, it is, you know. Just, uh, you know, it doesn't make noise, but uh, so just make sure that you don't create a lot of noisy activity in the process of your painting the room or the sector, okay? So, <clears throat> there you have it, folks. Uh, energies in the different sectors of your home for the month of October 2023. Uh, it is good that we can determine the flight of the stars to enable us to uh, make the uh, take the necessary precautions to remedy any of the negative sectors or enhance and use the positive uh, sectors in your home. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you, uh, you know, uh, you like the video. Thanks for joining me and uh, hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.